Jonah Ballo here for Knicks.com. The Kings head to NYC and the Knicks square off against the Pacers in consecutive games. Don't miss a second of the action right here on Knicks All Access Weekly. Riding the momentum of two straight wins in improbable fashion, the Knicks hit the floor on Tuesday evening at MSG for the makeup game against the Kings that was moved due to inclement weather in late January. The Knicks and the Kings, and they take the floor trying to win a third straight game tonight at Madison Square Garden. They're coming to practice, working hard every day, and, and guys are taking advantage of these opportunities that they're getting in the game. Uh, to prove what they can do. I think they're just finding ways to make plays and you know we'll have to do that again tonight to give ourselves a chance to win. Rudy Gay and Demarcus Cousins combined for 24 first half points while the Kings under new head coach George Carl showed a new pace in route to a 65 point first half and big lead over the Knicks. We came out a little bit lack lackadaisical, uh, not the right focus and they came out um, aggressive and set the tone early. The road team puts up 35 on you in the first quarter. They feel like it's going to be a great night, and we couldn't really slow them down after that. Alexi Shved managed to score 15 points off the bench for New York, but the Kings were too much to handle as they hit 10 of 18 from downtown in a 124-86 win. You know, it's frustrating because the last few games we played well. We've really grinded out games and had fun, and you know, to come out tonight and have the result we did tonight, it, it's tough. We have to kind of just uh, take what we can from this one um, and just kind of bring a new mindset, a new approach tomorrow. Facing a quick turnaround just one night after the matchup against the Kings in New York, the Knicks arrived at Bankers Life Fieldhouse in Indy for a contest against the Pacers, who would take the floor without their big man in the middle. I think our big guys were uh, out looking forward to kind of banging against right here because he beat up on us the last time we were here. Uh, so hopefully they'll still have some of that energy they can put onto some of their other big guys that'll get more minutes tonight. It's game three of a four-game homestand. It's a favorable schedule for the Pacers right now. Eight of nine at home and a chance to extend that winning streak tonight against the New York Knicks. Even though the Knicks shot 51% from the floor in the first half, the Pacers were even more efficient. At a 60% clip, and a 65-41 lead heading into the locker room. We came out with some, with some energy early, um, but it faded towards the towards the middle and then towards the end. We cut it back to 16 to 13, and then that's when they made their run again, and there was no stopping them from that point on. Playing uphill on the second night of a back to back all night long is just tough to do. Andrea Bargnani enjoyed a nice bounce back performance by scoring 25 points on 10 for 17 shooting. But the Pacers found the win column in this one, 105-82 behind 21 points from George Hill. We just didn't get the job done like we did in our previous back-to-back -back game. So we just got to go back, watch film, and see how we were, how we were playing uh, the last couple of games and uh, get back to that. As the season wraps up, you know, it's a great experience for these guys to learn what it takes to be good night in and night out. And that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win every night. But uh, there's a standard you have to try and set that you can hold yourself accountable to every single night when you're out there. Following a day off after the back-to-back, -back, the Knicks hit the hardwood at MSG Training Center with a rare chance at revenge in a meeting against the Pacers on Saturday night. Having the opportunity to play Indiana again, you know, after uh, you know, taking a loss we took a couple nights ago. You know, we just wanted to work on some specific things that we struggled in in that game. We didn't uh, get into the ball, didn't play hard enough, and um, just didn't play with enough energy. So uh, that's what we're going to bring tomorrow, and we're ready to go. Indiana marched into Madison Square Garden in a heated race for a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. As opposed to the matchup on Wednesday night in Indy, the Pacers would feature Roy Hibbert back at the center spot. All of our big guys will have their work cut out for them tonight, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful they're up for the challenge. You're not going to shut NBA guys out, but they still have to work hard for everything they get. And we didn't do that a, a few nights ago. And, you know, we're challenging our guys tonight to, to step up and do that. After a slow start, the Knicks found their rhythm in the second frame by outscoring the road team 25-16 and building a 43-38 lead at the half. 
New York's defense was impressive, holding the Pacers to just 28% shooting from the floor in the first 24 minutes. Defensively, in the first half, we were we were really good. We were really active. I thought we, we played well. We fought hard. We didn't let them come out and uh, play more physical than us. We, uh, we wanted to match their physicality and, uh, and just continue to play hard. The orange and blue looked good early in the fourth and even built a nine-point lead behind the play of Alexi Shved, but Andrea Bargnani's foul trouble forced him to the pond and open the door for Indiana late. It was a very physical game, a physical game from both sides. Uh, at the end, they hit a couple of shots and we didn't, but we had our opportunity. You know, that, that's, that's all we want to arrive at the end of the game with a chance to win the game. Bargnani turned in another 20-plus point outing against the Pacers and Shved added 15 off the bench, but a valiant Knicks effort just fell short in the 92-86 defeat on Saturday night. I think they were galvanized tonight and, and really tried to come out and play hard and play together and they fought hard. That's something that we now have to take out on the road. We're gonna to try to play every game on the road that we play today to give ourselves a chance to win at the end.